Uh, this is a very challenging problem, <laughs> at least the second half of it is. Uh, we've got, suppose the packages stick together, what is their common speed after the collision? Now, first of all, you have to, first of all, find what is the collision of box one when it gets to the bottom of the hill. And so you can just do MGH equals one half MV squared. And so the masses won't matter, right? And then you can solve for the velocity, but that's gonna be the velocity of box one right before the collision. And then if they um, stick together, then you're going to then do, you know, conservation of momentum, M1, V1, where that's the V from here that you get, is equal to, now think about it, now what's the final, when they stick together, you're going to have 3M, right? And I assume they weigh one kilogram, right? Times V final. So you know what V1 is, again, after you don't know it until you do this, and then you can find the final velocity the common speed, as they say, after the collision. However, part B is a bugger. So if it's an elastic collision, okay, what you're going to have to do, and again, elastic collisions, remember, both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved, then you're going to say M1 V1 plus, if you will, zero, because it, the block two or box two is not moving would be equal to m1 v1 the your, this number by the way will still be this number here plus m2 v2 now you're not going to know the velocity of one or the velocity of two you're going to have to do a second equation because in an elastic collision the kinetic energy is also conserved and so you can say one half m v1 squared again that's the v from here, plus zero, because it's not moving the second box, equals one-half m1 v squared, v1 squared, plus one-half m2 v2 squared. Now, now you know the mass of one is one, and the mass of two is two, right? And so what you're going to do is you're going to then set these into Desmos, right? And with you know Desmos, you will be able to find V1 and V2. So when I did this, um, it's important to note that V1 is a negative answer, meaning the box is going to bounce back to the left. But that's not the question. The question is how far up the ramp will it go? So once you know the velocity 1, which is a negative number because it's going to the left, you can say that the one half m oops one half m v squared equals m g h how high because it, it the question asks to what height does the package rebound so you're trying to find essentially what this height is and if you know this v from here different v right um, and you know the mass is the same they're both one and you're trying to solve for h